following is a Rogers Sports presentation. Tonight, the Brampton Battalion and the London Knights will enter the ice house ready for war. The Battalion are ready for tonight. Rafi Torres and Radislav Kessler both return after an excellent World Junior Tournament, where each came home with a medal. These two high-powered scorers will need to be sharp against the revamped Knights. London was busy at the trade deadline. Gone from the Knights are Chris Kelly, Dan Jansevsky, Kyle Neufeld, and Lou Dickinson. In return, London gets Dennis Weidman, winger Ryan Held, Scott Neal, and Sean McMurrow, and a slew of draft picks. The deals at the deadline make the future bright for the Knights. Get ready and hang on. Brampton, London, next on OHL Primetime. tonight's game between the London Knights and the Brampton Battalion at the London Knights House. I'm Brent Leo alongside Gavin Mifflin, your host for this evening. I'd like to welcome all the viewers watching tonight's game in the Brampton area. Should be a beauty tonight. The Brampton Battalion, a strong team, Gavin, but missing some of their players tonight. Not back from the World Juniors yet are Radoslav Klesla and Lucas Havel, and also Jay Harrison, a World Junior member from Canada, is suspended. So those guys out of the lineup for their second meeting of the year against the Knights. Yeah, it didn't take Harrison long to get in trouble back here in Canada. Canada. He was only playing three minutes and 18 seconds, took a slashing call. And what do you know, he's suspended for the rest of that game and two more games. So he'll be back in action with Brampton on Sunday. But uh, Klesla and Havel, they seem to have a little bit of problems getting some flights out of Prague and then they got stuck in London, England. At least they're back in the country now. I was talking to some of the staff of Brampton earlier on. They've landed in Toronto. They got in around 5.30 and uh, they were going to have some staff members pick them up. So it's possible they may end up here sometime late in the third period, but uh, neither on the roster tonight, so they won't see any action here against the Knights tonight. Well, let's take a look at the starting goalies for tonight's game. In goal for the London Knights, once again, Aaron Molnar will be playing net a 3.74 goals against average. He started every game this year. And for the Brampton Battalion, they'll see Brad Topping, a 16-year-old goaltender. Right there, you see a 3.19 goals against average. Topping, a Strathroy native, so playing close to home here, Gavin. Yeah, Topping will uh, probably play pretty well as uh, if, if everything holds to form. I'll tell you, anybody that's uh, from around the London area, they seem to come in here and play against the night with uh, a little bit more heart and determination than anybody else. And those are the guys that seem to have been burning the Knights in the late stages of the game. So it's definitely going to be Topping's night to shine for his Brampton teammates as Brian Finley, uh, their latest acquisition and a member of last year's World Junior team is still out for probably another 10 to 13 games. But uh, definitely Brampton's got some work to do tonight and uh, the Knights can look forward to adding some new guys to them. And, uh, a good game tonight. Well, let's set it upstairs for the drop of the puck. Steve Matthews and Tom Gibson. Thanks a lot, guys. Steve here with Tom, and we are getting set for the start of the opening of this first period between the London Knights and the Brampton Battalion, and we are underway with three brand-new London Knights in uniform tonight and a couple of well-loved players missing. Here's a break right away from the Battalion and dragged down on the play. Dragged down and loosened by Ian Turner, and they swat at each other, and there's going to be a couple of penalties handed out right away in this game. In behind his own net, chased down by Joel Sherbin. Centering pass ends up on the stick of Rafi Torres. Wrong player, though, as he takes it down. Nice big shot, and that's off the catcher of Aaron Molnar, and he juggled it a little bit. Then Torres throws the big hit into Ian Turner in the corner. He decides not to shoot it, puts it in the corner to Bois, now to Held. Here's Ryan Held looking for someone to pass to. He's got Ellinger on the other side. Could handle the pass. Another shot by Nash on the short side. And top of it. And it bounced in. They scored. That was 
was a weird one, Tom. Well, the referee, Ryan Carroll, right there to make the call. He signaled the goal right away. I thought it might have gone in off a high stick, but we'll, well get a peek at it. We'll, so get, too. we'll get a peek at it here. There's John Emmerich to Rick Nash, the first shot. Great save by Topping. It goes up high, comes down, and I think that was Held who took a... Did he wave it off first? We'll have to wait and see what happens here. Well, he, at first he looked like he waved it off, and then he pointed into the goal. We'll take a peek one more time. Watch Carroll, though. He makes the signal like no goal, and then he points into the net. Take a look at it here. There's the puck as it's coming down. And Held just bats it out of the air. But we can't tell from that angle if Held actually did have a high stick. Well, it's, it's, it's as long as it's below the shoulders and from that angle, it's certainly tough to tell. But nonetheless, Carroll makes the call. He's now over talking to Stan Butler. And I think Stan's saying you waved it off and then you called it a goal. He's shaking his head. Stan Butler, the head coach of the Branton Battalion, but he knows it's, it's going to count. Torres. Torres in behind. There's a shot on the short side. Good save by Molnar as Bateman was right there, and Molnar came across in the crease and got in front of that puck at point-blank range. Then it goes back to Thompson, to McSwain, to Flash on the other side. And then Thompson on the other side as the puck comes out. Molnar got across in time anyhow to make the initial save. Up through center to Torres. He's got Van Lusen with him. Torres stops. Center, he passes. Oh, that was right off the post. I thought that was in. It certainly looked like there was a possibility that one might have been in. I guess the question is how could he have missed it? We'll take a peek at it here. Great pass just in front. And that's definitely off the pipe and stays out. Thompson puts it in the corner. Centering pass. Given away by Aaron Lobb there. And right on the doorstep. There's a chance and it's grabbed under the air by Aaron Molnar. And it gets ahead to Andy Burnham who lifts it down the ice. Topping stops the puck. Rick Nash came in and his stick hit topping. Now we got a Big mess in behind the net. The linesmen jump in quickly to clear that up. I don't think we're going to get any penalties, Tom. Here's Weidman, cross ice to Nash, as it's stolen away by Van Lusen. He's got a chance coming in. He shoots. Beautiful save by Aaron Molnar as he went for the short side, and Molnar has been very sharp tonight. Here's Nash taking it around Van Lusen into the corner. Stathopoulos dragged down. Fans want a penalty there, too. What we're seeing is a lot of disorganized play right now. Choppy play. Here's a chance for Rafi Torres. Scores! Rafi Torres on a breakaway. Well, that was actually Rafi Torres' first shift here in the second period. And he picked up that loose puck and buried it behind Aaron Molnar. That's goal number 16 on the season for Rafi Torres. Here's McSwain again, bringing it out of his own end to the fast skating Rafi Torres. Here's Rafi Torres, takes it all the way in, there's a set, scores! Beautiful pass from Rafi Torres. Well, he hasn't played a whole heck of a lot of hockey here tonight, but look at the move on Rafi Torres. Makes a little shake, a little bake, and steps by the London Knights defenseman. Great pass. And Dennis Weidman can't tie up the Brampton Battalion forward. They bang it home, and Brampton now with the 2-1 lead. It out through center. Aaron Lobb picks up a little bit of speed. Here's Lobb now with a chance. Go! The light went on in behind the net, but the puck somehow didn't end up in the back of the net. 
Out in front of McShane. Now one hit the post. Here we go. Andy Burnham with Travis Perron. First fight of the game. A couple of heavyweights in behind the net. That one didn't last very long. Andy Burnham trying to fire up his team. I think he's done it. Every time a London player falls down, the crowd wants a penalty. Here's Bateman over the blue line. Torres with another backhanded pass. There's a shot along the side. Torres. Torres shakes his head. Aaron Molnar got back just in time. Now here's a chance for Bateman. Bateman's going in. Van Lucia streaking from the net. They score! Beautiful goal by Jeff Bateman. Well, you can see the seven weeks of sitting at home in Elmira on the legs of Dennis Weidman, who, according to his scouting report, has great speed. He just could not get back in time to pick up Aaron Van Lusen. And Van Lusen bangs it home. The Brampton Battalion have taken a 3-1 lead and have played well here tonight, outshooting the Knights 30-20 with 2.52 left to go. 12 seconds left to go. The face-up picked up by Mike Clark. Banks it off the glass and down the ice. That'll pretty well do it as the battalion control the puck in the final seconds as they have throughout most of this game. And Brampton walk out of the ice house with a 3-1 win over the London Knights. The newly assembled London Knights with three brand new players. London started the scoring off in the first period with Ryan Held, one of those new members, scoring his 13th of the season. Then it was Brampton all the way from there. Rafi Torres scoring. Aaron Van Lusen with a couple. Aaron Van Lusen uh, picks up three points tonight. Rafi Torres also with three points. Well, certainly a good effort by uh, Stan Butler's Brampton Battalion. Now, both teams not looking so good after 40 minutes, but, you know, this is a Brampton Battalion team that was missing four players to the World Junior Tournament, so that's about three weeks, so you get your team disrupted, then you get them all back. They're tired because they've been overseas, they're a little jet-lagged, and somehow they got to continue to play hockey, and the Brampton Battalion played enough hockey here tonight to uh, to grab the win, and uh, they did a good job, and on the other hand, the London Knights struggled right from the get-go, and I have a day off tomorrow and have some things to work on as they get ready to head to Oshawa on uh, Sunday for sure so London will be here at the Ice House next Friday night and so will Rogers Television to broadcast that game Jason Spezza and Steve Ott and the Windsor Spitfires a week from tonight hope you can join us for that one until then I'm Steve Matthews with Tom Gibson good night well, it's time to take a look at the three stars for tonight's hockey game. The first star from the Brampton Battalion, Aaron Van Lusen. A beautiful game, two goals and an assist. Rafi Torres had a goal and two assists. And Ryan Held with his first goal of the season for the London Knights. Yeah, Van Lusen picking up 12 and 13 on the season tonight. Rafi Torres picking up his 16th of the season. And... Uh, Ryan Held. Ryan Held, thanks, uh, picking up his first as a London Knight here tonight. Uh, all in all, uh, a, a well-played game by two teams that, uh, you know, have gone through a lot of changes in, in the last little bit. Uh, Brampton missing a couple of their key players and uh, not having Brian Finley, their, their new acquisition and goal, and the Knights going through uh, all of their trade changes that they had. Uh, so uh, not a bad game over, overall, but uh, more defensive-minded than anything else here tonight. Well, World Junior Coach Stan Butler brings his Brampton Battalion into the London Ice House, a 3-1 victory. The winning goaltender for the Brampton Battalion, Strathroy native Brad Topping, the 16-year-old, gets the win. Aaron Molnar gets the loss for the Knights. That's it from the Ice House, 3-1 Battalion win. For Gavin Mifflin, I'm Brent Lale. Have a good evening.